one of our planet's last remote places. The Guiana Shield is home to some of its most iconic and endangered species. And the last tract of pristine forest in South America. Operation Wallacea are involved in the long-term monitoring of Guyana's rainforests, examining areas of sustainable use and how they compare to those set aside as untouched wilderness. I'm Dr. Raquel Thomas. I'm a forest ecologist. I'm the Director of Resource Management and Training at the Iwakurama International Center. The entire Iwakurama area is forested. Always we wanted to show um, good models of sustainable use. And one of the ways that we actually do that is by doing research. And we have integrated Operation Wallacea into our monitoring system. South America has more bird species than anywhere on Earth. The Guiana Shield is one of the hotspots of diversity on the continent. I'm Brian O'Shea. I am the Collections Manager for Ornithology at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. I have coordinated for the past several years the bird banding project. We wake up well before 5 o'clock. Uh, we leave camp about 5.15 to open the nets. There's a narrow window of time in the early morning where I prefer to open my nets, which is just after the bats are flying and just before the first birds start to move. We run the nets all morning long, extract birds from the nets, place bands on them and release them after taking some basic measurements. You get them in the net and take the wing length and their weight and it's all adding to this project and when you release them it's like watching them fly back home. You hear that the harpy eagle is the world's most powerful bird of prey and when you finally see a harpy eagle and you see the feet is the thickness of the feet, and you know that those talons are used to pull very sizable, strong animals from trees. It really knows that it's the king of the forest, and I, I love that about them. My name is Burton Lim. I'm an assistant curator of mammalogy at the Royal Ontario Museum. Uh, it was Corolanine. I am the senior bat scientist. A lot of uh, people, they've never really seen a bat. You know, they might know a bat from the silhouette, um, but very rarely do they actually see a bat up close. So a lot of the bats here have a lot of weird ornamentation on their faces. They have a nose leaf. Uh, they got stripes on their faces, stripes on their backs. When people actually see the bats up close, they're amazed at uh, the, all the diversity and the variety of bats that are here. I think it's an experience that uh, they wouldn't be able to get anywhere else. I would always knew that bats existed. We have bats where I'm from and they're always around, but they're flying during the night and you only really see them for a glimpse. So this was the first experience I've had with actually seeing them hand to eye. I'm Hannah Ray Sullivan. I'm the senior herpetologist for Operation Wallacea here in Guyana. Primarily, I go out at night for visual encounter surveys. Um, so basically, we go out on a one kilometer transect looking for eyeshine. I originally came here as a volunteer and I'd never been to the tropics before. I wasn't interested in herpetology and coming here really propelled me for what I was interested in for the rest of my career. You have opportunities to go to other sites, but I've just continued to come back to Guyana because every single year there's something new, something different. You know, we've, this is the first site and every single day I've seen something that I have never seen before. Guyana itself is in a position right now where you can still feel really remote. You can still feel like you're in the middle of absolutely nowhere. You come to Turtle Mountain and you, it's just sprawling rainforest as far as the eye can see. So I think you really don't get that experience in so many places to be really remote and really in the forest. It doesn't exist anywhere else. It's just explosive diversity like you could never see anywhere else on this planet. I think it's better than what I expected. 
certainly cemented the idea that research is what I want to do with my life. It's, it's been, I think it has, it's, it's been the best trip I've ever taken.